Hey guys, what's up? It's the Action Gamer here. You know, it's been a long time since I even really played a Devil May Cry game. I remember I used to make a lot of gameplay videos on Devil May Cry 3 and 4 back in 2012, 2013. I even did DMC Devil May Cry for a bit. My, since then, my skills have gotten rusty because I have been playing other games and I've just been moving on with college and new experiences and finding out my career and discovering myself. Just, you know, what I want to do in life. Um... Devil May Cry 5, though, is something I never thought would come to pass. I honestly thought Capcom kind of just threw Devil May Cry by the wayside ever since the reboot was released. The uh, DNC, DMC Devil May Cry. Um, and let me give you a quick opinion on that game. I know I was very harsh on it back then, in when it first came out on console. I have played the PC version, and eh, it's kind of so-and-so. My PC specs aren't really that high, so I can't give an in-depth opinion about the performance of that game. I can tell you about Devil May Cry 3 and 4 because I own them on PlayStation 4. Real quick, Devil May Cry 3, on PS4 it feels a bit slower and the effects look like water and the background and I guess fog. Visual effects look kind of blurry and I don't know if there's input delay because I'm trying to go super fast even with turbo mode on and the game just doesn't seem as responsive as it was on PlayStation 3. I feel like I'm the only one who's saying this. Devil May Cry 4 Devil May Cry 4 on PlayStation Network which I downloaded the game from it's fun. I'm having absolute I'm having an absolute blast playing with Virgil again. And that's my main character. I could do Dante in DMC3, but DMC4 Dante is really, really um, wacky, I guess. Uh, I don't like the idea of equipping three weapons, three guns, three double arms, and five styles, seven styles, actually, and having to press down the D-pad twice to unlock another style. Uh, it just feels really... I don't know. I don't like the way they've configured Dante in this game. In the games... You could do a lot of tricks with Virgil, a lot of parries, and same with Dante. You just have to have good timing, you have to know what your enemy's weaknesses are according to which weapon you use, and the best style in DMC3 that can accommodate the battle, the upcoming battle, that you'll be facing in the Colosseum, in, in all the different boss areas and stages. Devil May Cry 5, I wonder, I mean I don't have to really wonder at this point, there's a lot of leaks going on about the type of game it will be. But first, let me just tell you the grievances I've had with the other Devil May Cry games. Uh, okay, here, here's where we can begin. The camera. Devil May Cry 3, its camera is almost centered around the character with no uh, ability to adjust. Devil May Cry 3 keeps you in closed spaces and closed environments the majority of the game. E all the hallways, uh, the different entrances and exits, all the different areas, all the different battlegrounds, with the exception of a small few, the a lot of the places in Devil May Cry 3, a lot of the terrain, a, a lot of the buildings you're in, a lot of the tower, the big Temenagru building, you are mobile and moving around at a very, very fast pace with limited mobility. Whether you're Virgil or Dante, the teleports can only take you so far. Uh, my point being that Dante or Virgil, you're trapped inside a tower with limited space and limited movement, and sometimes the camera gets kind of funky moving around left or right, if, especially if you're in a corner. I don't know how many of you guys can relate to that, and I don't know which gameplay vid is playing as I speak, because I have tens upon tens of different gameplay videos with Dante and Virgil, especially Virgil. He's my favorite character in Devil May Cry 3 and 4. I love his ability to equip three weapons, but you just switch between three. I think that works. I think Vir Virgil is exactly how the characters should be played if you are going to equip three weapons. I do enjoy Bayonetta, where you get to swap between two sets. And I do feel that Virgil, as a character... I love the idea of taking some of the move sets that he has in Double May Cry, DMC Double May Cry, and adapting them with the old incarnation of Virgil, and making a one really, really effective powerhouse against uh, a lot of enemies in DMC4. I think combining his Double May Cry 3 self with DMC Double May Cry really added to the gameplay. Although I've always I've gone on the record saying before that. 
Virgil's teleports in Devil May Cry 3 I find to be better, given that you can trick up, trick back, or trick forward. Uh, you can trick toward an enemy. Trick, you know, teleport. Devil May Cry 4, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the way Virgil's teleports operate, where you can only travel backward in Devil Trigger while you move forward toward an enemy by throwing a sword at them. I think there's pros and cons to it, but the truth is, I've always wanted to see a navigational teleport based on the D-pad. I think it would add a lot of dimension to his gameplay. I mean, uh, that alone would give me a lot of different creativity um, outlets with his moveset. A at least, like, what what's around currently. N Devil May Cry 4 with Dante is a mess. I, I don't even want to talk about it, I just want to talk about 3. I think 3 really got the gameplay right. Except for the fact that you can't use the style system. I mean, I'm sorry, you can't switch out the styles, uh, the different movesets, it, while, in, while in gameplay. You have to go to the shop to change out the different styles. I think that if Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition had come with the ability to use a style switcher mode, as it does on the PC, you know, that one's fan-made, but I think Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition would have been a lot better if Dante had been allowed to switch different styles on the fly. But then, of course, uh, DMC4 probably wouldn't even be a thing, because that is one of the sellers of that game. Okay, now let's talk about DMC5. Holy crap! Oh my god, I'm so excited! Next week it's going to be announced at E3. I mean, that's what everyone's saying, and I strongly hope... I, I, I think that hope has been renewed since Devil May Cry 5.org or .com... Yeah, .com became a thing, along with Devil May Cry 6, 7, 8, and 9. It's like, jeez, Capcom, how long... I, I mean, you guys are really want to milk this thing. And you know what? This may be extremely hypocritical of me to say, but you know what? Do it. Um, I wouldn't mind if they actually brought out another game besides Devil May Cry 5. Hell, remake the first Devil May Cry. Or better yet, remake Devil May Cry 2. Uh, that game... That game is so broken. Um with a lot of the stuff you can do in DMC2, and it's not really well thought out, it's not well made, it really isn't. I think they should remake Devil May Cry 2 and call it a Platinum Edition. Get Platinum Games to remake the game that Hideki Kamiya should have uh, finished. I think he was on Devil May Cry 2 for a bit, until he got um, he got the boot, basically, by Capcom. Yeah, I think uh, Kamiya talked about that once, in reference to nearly being fired at Capcom, he, that he thought he was going to be fired when he had to give no, uh, the notes of Devil May Cry to Itsuno? I don't know. I, I think you can find some of that history online. It would be a dream come true if Capcom and Platinum Games actually got along and made a Devil May Cry game together. They could remake the first game, or hell, they could even give us a Sparta prequel! You know how many people have been asking for that? That'd be insane! More insane than this announcement! But, but I'll take this. I'll take this. It's been a long time since we got a Devil May Cry game in the main series. And I'm not making this video to regurgitate everything that everyone else has already said. There's a lot of really cool players out there. Um, people have their own take on what Devil May Cry 5 should be. I don't know. I, I want something that advances the story. And yes, I've heard. Dante's going to be more serious. The Prince of Darkness will return, if you guys know who that is. Hint, hint. DMC1. I think Devil May Cry needs to give us more than just Lady having a fleshed out character in her get debut, Trish having a fleshed out character in her debut, Dante... I, I feel like there should be questions answered given Dante's origin, and you can find different mediums that talk about where he came from or how he got to be where he is today, partially. Devil May Cry has never been fully fleshed out as a series, in terms of story. And I would love to see a really strong... I don't know how to say this. A really strong story structure. I want Devil May Cry 5 to be the game that can set a precedent in, uh, in some kind of writing for the type of series that it is. I mean, look at DMC3. Uh, you have prejudice, you have racism, you have acquaintances that later become friends. I, I, well, they started out as enemies. Dante and Lady, they did. Same with Trish. I, I think in Beautiful Joe, Trish and Dante are, are dating, but um, who knows where that uh, story fits in the timeline of Double May Cry games. I recognize it's been a while since I've made a video on any game, 
the reality is, I'm not really sure if I want to be too invested in YouTube. I will definitely do a Twitch stream. This game must be played on Twitch. For me, that's where I'm going to go with this. YouTube has had a lot of problems for aspiring content creators, uh, for new creators especially. I think Dante and Trish and Virgil and Nero... Oh, I'm going to talk about Nero in a second. I, I want to play this game, and I want to see how well... Devil May Cry 5 turns out, it is too good for me not to stream. In terms of gameplay, besides what I've already mentioned, I'm really glad that the spiral swords on Virgil have been improved. You can have the swords out at the same time as uh, using projectile swords, and the judgment cut is not my favorite judgment cut in DMC4. Uh, I like the round version better, where you get to press the button three times and have multiple judgment cuts. Okay, and now for Nero. In terms of gameplay, real quick, Nero is not that good of a character. I mean, he, yeah, you can do things with him. You can do combos, but I feel like his moveset is really incomplete. And it probably is, seeing as how you can't use the majority of the button configuration. You can't use the commands. I mean, there are fewer commands to Nero than there are for Virgil or Dante. Especially Virgil. Uh, he has less moves, but he's still a powerhouse. I thought Nero, when I first played the game, would be somewhere in between. I mean, as I played the game. And I wonder if they're going to base Virgil's reappearance in Devil May Cry 5. It's going to be based on the story that they set up in Devil May Cry 4. I'm just wondering how they're going to explain Nero and Virgil's uh, family relationship. They might say something, they might retcon Virgil's ambitions in Devil May Cry 3. Although, to be fair, the story never really fleshed out why Virgil uh, decided to... Um, unleash a whole bunch of demons and try to rule the world, the human world and the demon world. The the game of that, the story of that game did not explain that at all. It was all ambiguity and based inferred on some of the comments made by Dante. Like you could infer what Virgil's goal was based on comments made by Dante near the end of the final battle in Devil May Cry Three. But oh my god, I sure as, I, I'm sure, like, I'm, see, I'm too excited to be able to speak clearly. Like, I'm very excited to play this game when it gets announced, and we all know that it will. I mean, I wouldn't have believed it in December when that leak first came out. I was excited for it, but I wasn't sure. But to see Capcom doing something with this property again, going back to the original series, and trying to finish the story... I feel like Capcom was stuck with characters they didn't know how to use because they didn't really create them. Kamiya did, and he left Capcom a while ago to go um, work at Clover Studio. So here's the deal, though. I want Dante to be fleshed out. I want Trish to be more than a one-dimensional appearance like she was in DMC4. Yes, she was Gloria, but that's all she did. I want her personal life. Like, what's her favorite food? What does she like to eat? What's her hobby? Does she have a job? D does she live by herself or with someone else? Uh, does she have any friends? You know, it'd be nice to for Devil May Cry to have that sort of story element um, fleshing out, I mean, in terms of their characters. And the gameplay I've already covered. Lady... I want Lady and Trish, if they are going to be in the game as playable characters, I want them to have all new original movesets and not just be copy and paste animations of Dante and his gunslinger mode and some of his swordmaster moves. I really don't want to see that again. Virgil, I've already... I think I've spoken enough about him. He's my, he's my main in these DMC games. Even in DMC Devil May Cry. Nero! Nero needs new weapons. I'm not saying that the red, um, red Queen and Blue Rose are bad. I'm just saying he needs more weapons. He also gave up the sword, the Yamato, to... Um, I mean, I'm sorry, he has them. Dante decided to bequeath... He decided to give the swords to Nero. This, um, the Yamato sword. As a gift. At the end of Devil May Cry 4. I'm like, okay, okay, let's see where this goes. To tell you the truth, though, I kind of wish Capcom would make DMC5 take place after 4. I wish they would stop running from Devil May Cry 2. Yes, we know it wasn't a good DMC game. We know there were problems and it was nothing like the first one. But I, I wish they could sort of move on with that. I mean, the Sonic series after Sonic 06 moved on greatly uh, with other games, even though the quality of those games are questionable in today's late, at today's late date. I just don't understand why DMC2 still has to be a stigma in the year 2018. Honestly, I think it's time to sort of 
let go of that oversight on this part of the series. DMC3 worked as a prequel. Okay, I get it. DMC4 works in between 1 and 2. Fine. But I, I think if they are going to make games that avoid Devil May Cry 2, it has to be a Devil May Cry 5 set, or Devil May Cry 6 set in the past. Uh, the time that Dante and Virgil were just babies or, I don't know, bef before Sparta met his wife. But I think only Kamiya is the one best suited to write that story. I feel like that's an opportunity for him, that if Capcom decides to uh, it, it, like extend that mythos in their way, I, I feel like that'll be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that will be gone. And yes, I know Kamiya has since worked on Bayonetta, and that's another thing! Devil May Cry 5 and Bayonetta 3. Who thought that the the two most major action games would be would come to a collision at E3? I didn't. I never thought I'd live in a world where Dante and Bayonetta would have their games announced at the same place at the same time. Um, a series with both having been made by the same creator. Although DMC5 obviously has a different director as the last couple games have had. I can't wait. And I also hear that there's a demo coming for DMC5. I don't know if that's true. I want it to be though. I will play the demo. Devil May Cry 4 had a demo back in the day. Devil May Cry... DMC Devil May Cry had a demo. And I think that was about it. I don't remember the other games having a, a demo. Because I got them in 2012, 2013. I got them around the time that the HD collection came out on PlayStation 3. And in the PlayStation 3's case, that game played a lot better on that console. It was much faster. It responded more. It's just my take. I know there's a whole bunch of games coming for E3. There's going to be Spider-Man PS4. There's going to be Last of Us 2. There's going to be um, a whole bunch of other games that have since been announced a little too early. Uh, Marvel's Avengers Project. Uh, I, Mar Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, anybody? Probably not. Probably not. In terms of action games... I used to be really, really good at deciphering what was going on in front of me. These days, though, I don't know if I'm that qualified to do so. It's just been a really, really long time since I've played uh, Bayonetta. I have it on PC now. Devil May Cry 3 and 4, I'm getting myself back into the, um, into the me muscle memory and the work that it takes to defeat these enemies, these boss fights. Okay, it's been about 18 minutes. Almost 18 minutes. I can't believe I spent this much time talking about DMC. Um, 1 through 5. Yeah, I can't believe we're going to get a DMC 5. It's been 10 years! 10 years since the last entry. And yeah, DMC 4 Special Edition kind, kind of counts. It does. It's just that, you know, it didn't really do much to extend the mythos of the, of the games. Except, you know, give Virgil um, an apparent uh, lover? I don't know. There, he might actually be revealed to have had a lover in his life? Probably? Who knows? Okay. I'm done talking. I'll probably talk more about this a li little by little as time goes on. Maybe. And I'm so going to be thrilled for E3. I can't wait for Devil May Cry 5 and Bayonetta 3. But mostly Devil May Cry 5. That's my, that's my, that's my boy. That's my game for E3. Something tells me this is, this is going to be one hell of a party. And mo mostly one hell of an E3 to remember.